In this particular session, we are going to discuss N Quinn's algorithm. So, in our previous videos, we have discussed what is the N Quinn's problem and how to trace the logic, and we filled up one N Quinn's problem for n is equal to 4, and also we discussed N Quinn's problem for n is equal to 8, and that is one of the possible solutions. So, now we are going to discuss the respective algorithm. Okay, here is the algorithm, it is consisting of two functions. One is the n queens, another one is the place. So, let me start with the n queens problem. So, see n queens k n. Initially, this particular algorithm will be called from some self from the main function. Say, let us suppose the value of n is equal to 8. Okay. So, now from the main function, I shall be calling in this way n queens 1, 8. So, 1 will come to this k parameter and 8 will be coming to this n parameter. Okay. So, that means what in total we are having 8 number of queens and we are starting judging for the queen number 1. So, that, mean, that means 1 will be coming down here. Now, for i is equal to 1 to n do that means that means for that particular kth queen I shall try for all columns. I told you earlier that the kth queen will be at the kth row. So, that is not a problem. But in which column at which column that is the main issue. So, I shall try for the kth queen for the kth queen I shall try for all possible column numbers ranging from 1 to n. Now, if place k i if the kth queen can be placed at the ith column then this place is nothing but a function I shall be discussing this one right now. This place returns true if the kth queen can be placed at the ith column and it will return false if the kth queen cannot be placed at the ith column. Then x k is equal to i that means x is nothing but one global array its kth location will be initialized by i because I got one idea I got one permission that the kth queen can be placed at the ith column. So, at the kth position of this x which will be holding the n tuple I discussed this one in my earlier video also that to for this particular solution it will be kept in n tuple it will be kept in one dimensional array. Let us suppose this is the array which is nothing but x array. So, k x k is equal to i and if k is equal to n that means it is the last queen I am placing that means k array k array has got filled up with n number of column numbers. So, that means I have got one solution then I shall print this particular um, x content array content. So, now if if this condition is not true that means if k is not n then I shall go for the next queen. So, else n queens k plus 1 n. So, again this particular algorithm will be called then what will happen for the k plus 1 th queen again I shall I shall have to check whether that particular queen can be placed for all column numbers ranging from 1 to n. So, that is why this particular algorithm will give us all possible solutions. So, using backtracking this procedure prints all combinations of the solutions. So, for first queen I shall be placing that one at the column number 1 then I shall go for the second queen. Second queen will be tried for the next column possible then it will go to the third queen in this way it will go to the eighth queen then it will come back to the seventh queen then what will happen the seventh queen will be tried to be placed to the next column and if it could placed then the for the eighth queen again I shall be starting again I shall have to starting from column number 1 to n. So, in this way for all possible combinations it will be working. So, after backtracking, backtracking, backtracking when it will be reaching to the queen number 1 then the queen number 1 for the next i for the next i it will be going for the column number 2. So, placing this queen number 1 in the column number 2 I shall try whether queen number 2 can be placed in column number 1 if it is possible good otherwise column number 2 not possible then it will go to column number 3 diagonal check will be there then it will be going for column number 4. If it is possible then again it will go for the queen number say 3 and it will be checked for all possible columns. So, in this way it will work. So, this is the special flavor of backtracking algorithm. Have you seen recursion recursion within iteration. So, recursion within iteration this is the flavor of backtracking algorithm. Okay, now, let me go for this place. So, place is nothing but a function which will return true if the kth queen can be placed at the ith column and it will return false 
otherwise. So now returns true if k q is placed at the kth row and ith column otherwise returns false. So x is nothing but a global array which will be holding the solution. For j is equal to 1 to k minus 1 I shall have to check previous k minus 1 number of queens where they got placed. So that is why for j is equal to 1 to k minus 1 because I am judging for the queen number k. So for the previous queens their numbers will be ranging from 1 to k minus 1. If x j is equal to i that means the ith column is already filled up by one of the queens earlier or this is the logic we are having we discussed this one in the earlier video that is the diagonal logic. So, this diagonal logic has been checked here you see we are having i j and k l see i has been placed here and j has been placed here that is the uh, row number column number for one of the queens. So, here you see j and x j what is the j that is the jth queen will be at, at the jth row and what will be the respective column number for the jth queen x j because this particular array is holding only the column numbers. Okay, now see we are having the other one is k l. So, k has gone there and l has gone there. So, now this is my k and this is my i because kth queen at the ith column yes. So, k and i combination has come here and j and x j combination has come, come there. So, that means it is quite corresponding to this uh, equality check. Okay. So, either this is true or this is true then return false that means the kth queen cannot be placed at the ith column. So, it will be working for all j for any one of the j if it is true then it will return false. If the condition is true or this condition is true that means the ith column is not suitable for the kth queen. So, it will return false otherwise after execution of full for loop that means for j is equal to 1 to k minus 1 if it does not return false then it will return true and if it returns true then x j is will be equal to i and rest part I have discussed earlier. So, this is my n queens problems algorithm. So, if this question comes you shall have to write both the functions because one function has been called from another and here this is the backtracking that is a recursion within iteration. So, I think you are getting this logic. So, I have explained in multiple videos this backtracking algorithm using n queens problem. Thanks for watching this one.